Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I just thought we'd play some World Box. Uh, so this is a map that I made, and, uh, I just thought, let's spawn some human civilization. So let's get Chu here, Chu here, and Chu here. And also I am going to mess around with some things. I'm gonna turn in, I'm gonna turn on Angry Villagers. I'm gonna turn on natural disasters, and I'm going to turn on other disasters. This should make things more interesting, but I'm not too sure. I am going to speed up the game. If you want to, you can use this, where it's just kind of like the developer's kind of pretty much just a debug menu. But we're going to turn on a Sonic Speed. And which just kind of does this since i don't have premium and i can't use the hourglass so this is my best substitute as you can tell not much has happened yet but it looks like uh the blue city has been growing or is growing Also, I don't want to make this too long of a video, so I am speeding this up. I'm gonna keep on speeding it up until something interesting happens. The cities are growing. The king of the king Ebop is dead. Poor, poor Ebop. You lived a great life. Okay, I actually don't know too much on what's going on at the moment. Looks like the cities are developing. But you know what? To make things more interesting, let's put two or another city on each continent. This is kind of hard, but let's also just see what kind of happens with them. We can give some rain clouds or something. Oh, it looks like two continents are at war. I'm pretty sure it's these two. Yep. Oh, I guess I didn't really think of that. I thought they were going to take them over, which would have been a massive advantage. Instead, they just killed them, which I feel like is a little unfair. Let's put a few people there and give them a bit more of a chance. A few more people so they have a better chance since the other cities came in way before they did. So they should have something that lets them win. This one actually has a lot of stone to their, which is a pretty big advantage, especially at this point. Something like that, no. Something that I think I'm going to do is uh, once one of these cities gets destroyed or taken over, uh, I'm going to use the infinity coin, which is pretty much just the Thanos map for this entire thing. So let's see what happens. Looks like out of the new cities, this one is doing the best with two cities. But they do have some competition with these two already existing, have, having a massive population. And that and the one with 23 or 24 population growing quickly and also just being way more powerful at the current moment. We're going to check relationships so far. So it does look like everybody's at peace, but that probably won't last all that long. I designed this map for fun, and I think it turned out pretty well. As you just saw, there's a tornado, one of the effects from the natural disasters. 
And the other disasters makes different, like, mobs and things spawn in. Oh my god, what just happened? So it looks like two of the cities just uh, turned into different... Er, they rebelled, and now we have two new places, being the Cyan Kingdom. It looks like they're also starting up another place further down there. Let's see how this goes. But it doesn't look that great for the Purple Kingdom, where although they have that that kingdom, their main their main kind of thing is that... Oh, wow, and they rebel. That must be a pretty trashy king from the Purple Kingdom. Eh, not really. Maybe the other ones are all just jerks. But it looks like all of the Purple Kingdom's, kingdoms people have rebelled. And it looks like the Cyan Nation is taking over the old Purple Kingdom, claiming it for themselves. Let's see if White likes that, but... Ooh, that's pretty big. These other... On, these other cities are starting up and this one has also been growing but gray really has not had much of a struggle and is definitely very far ahead of a lot of the other places oh it looks like i missed it but it looks like blue must have taken them over and i just remembered what i said earlier so time to flip the infinity coin what happens Ooh, that was a lot of creatures removed. This is intense with the people remaining. Looks like there's a new purple place, but it doesn't look like they're going to last for long. With this lightish blue place, definitely putting in work. This uh, white place, though, that rebelled definitely is a massive threat to that gray. Though they do have these places and docks. Even though white does have docks, which does give them a bit of an ad advantage. Oof, it looks like this kingdom, uh, well, now it's kind of converted, but the old, the old purple capital really not doing well. Looks like the, the light blue turned into a cyan or color. And yeah, both these places next to the Niao place are both rebelling. This is pretty crazy. Oh, and they must have been taken over perhaps by this other kingdom. This continent is really chaotic. This one is mainly thriving with not really any competition. And this one is starting to have rebellions, but it's not as bad as uh, this continent, which has had plenty of rebellions. Looks like Light Blue has reclaimed most of their places, but not all of them. To speed things along, I am going to launch or use three infinity coins. And let's see how this turns out. 151 creatures alive. This does not seem very good for the different kingdoms. Looks like Cyan took a big hit, but is still doing well by comparison. This blue definitely took it the best. Gray is doing meh. But this place now having 16 is now starting to become a threat. Oh, but they do have this place with 33 that might actually rebel. This doesn't look good for them. It looks like there could be an earthquake, though I'm not too sure where. It looks like there's a fire. Oh my god, oh, demons invaded, which is catastrophic. They're probably going to wipe out this entire place, since I recently just cost them every person there was in there, and now their only hope is this other kingdom, and this one which rebelled. They don't stand much chance against demons, but there's not that many of them. They are very powerful, and I kind of doubt that they will be able to fend them off. I'm pretty certain that the that the kingdom of Pois will be taken out. I think the other kingdom over here, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce, will be able to take out the demons, but not without a cost, and also at the cost of all, just all of those other kingdoms being destroyed. It looks like purple and gray, the two continents on the other side over here, did not suffer at all from those demons. It looks like purple might have actually benefited and have taken over this place. A few more demons still alive. 
and uh, the white continent not taking it well. It looks like light blue and blue really, really getting massive. And something that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give them both spite. Which should make things far more interesting. But also, it will make them start a war. I'm not that concerned about this blue, but Cyan really is not at a good point. Oh, though it actually kind of has helped them with taking over white. Looks like these other places aren't... It looks like, you know what... I'm going to give them a bit of spite. Looks like a kingdom was taken down. Or not really a kingdom, more like a city. Ooh, it looks like they're retaliating. Looks like the retaliation was stopped. And everything kind of is looking very different. I'm just going to give everyone spite. Make everyone hate each other. And see what happens. Ooh, Henson, I wonder where that is. Ooh, gray. They are not going to like that. As a lot of their people might turn, must have turned evil and taken out a large chunk of the population. This place rebelling, but hey, oh no, that's not very good for uh, the blue because any place that is on the same continent is definitely a threat, especially in the big scheme of things. With them against... Oh, Blue, I was going to say that, but it looks like they sent over a ship, and now a massive army must be tearing through this place. It was just taken over. That is huge and definitely devastating. I'm going to make a small land bridge between these two places, just to make... Yeah, I'm going to make a land bridge between all of these places... To make things just happen quicker. I'm going to give everyone spite again. Rush things along a bit. But this does not look good for them. They're all... Oh, wow. They're all... In the middle of war, it looks like blue has taken over another place on this continent. Looks like science taking this place out, but not at uh, not at a good moment. Looks like that purple nation could possibly hurt, but I still think it's going to be taken out by the rest of these people. That place that was just starting off, it looks like it was wiped out. And all these cities over here definitely fighting gray lost control losing to what looks to be a, a mintish green kind of color leading them but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use more infinity coins the last one alive will be the winner i guess hopefully they have large enough populations to survive this but perhaps not Surprisingly, a few of the places with smaller populations still alive, although, of course, the number of people getting taken out is quite smaller. Looks like one blue place was taken out. Oh, all of the green places, and it looks like the very last one is blue. That is such a shame. But that is quite interesting. Oh, they're gaining more people. That's quite exciting. As I'm just going to drop a few bombs. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.